opposition fighters on the front line. But outgunned by Gaddafi forces, they're finding it impossible to advance. We were watching them as they tried to move forward, but then an attack started. Moments ago, two missiles have landed about 100 metres away from us. We're on the front line, but it's under attack. It appears to be Grad missiles being fired by Gaddafi forces. Moments later, another group of fighters headed forward, watching a special forces colonel, one of those who defected from Gaddafi's military. He's technically in charge, but has no control of these young volunteers, lightly armed, most of them only have basic military training. They are heroes to the point of being suicidal. They are really heroes. Why else would these youngsters sacrifice themselves so this country can have a better life? His words were soon backed up by events. A strike on a group of opposition vehicles. Unplugged, unplugged. We're out of here. We're out of here. No. We decided to join the fighters as they moved back from the front. We can stay up. Later, the vehicle that was hit was recovered. One man died. Fighters know this is an uneven battle. They have real heavy uh, weapons, and we, we have light weapons. They have tanks. They have all kinds of really sophisticated weapons. All we have is here. A loudspeaker plays patriotic music. These men are determined to take all of Libya from Colonel Gaddafi's control, their morale boosted by recent Western airstrikes. But as a fighting force, they lack coordination and discipline, and on the ground, they cannot match the firepower of their enemy.